everyone what's up welcome back to my fitness channel i'm so excited for today's video it's going to be a meal prep video which you guys love watching they're some of my most viewed videos on a regular basis it seems that you guys are really looking for meal prep ideas and i love making these videos back in the fall i was super consistent with the gym i was doing 75 hard and one of the things that i think helped me achieve my goals so much easier is meal prepping it just makes sense the fact that every day you don't have to cook a ton of food because let's be honest cooking three meals a day is just too much sometimes like sometimes i just can't be bothered to do all of that and this takes a lot of the guesswork out of it you just know it's in your fridge the thing for me is even sometimes i'm like Ugh, i don't really feel like eating a meal prep anymore like i want to just make my own food and then i'll go to the gym and i'll come back and i'll be like okay yeah i want a meal prep right now the last thing i want to do is cook a meal for like an hour when i could just heat something up for a minute and i think something that i try and do is show you guys that you can have meal preps that aren't necessarily super boring. Really, in my opinion, you can make anything into a meal prep if you try hard enough, and you can make anything that you like healthier and still taste good. I think I really showcased that pretty well on my channel, that anything that you are craving, no matter what it is, you can make a healthier version. Like, there's a healthier way to do things, which makes a weight loss journey or just like a fitness journey in general a lot easier i'm super excited for today's video i actually have to go to the gym first and then i'm gonna go grocery shopping for it but i just planned it all out so i'm feeling really good before i go to the gym though i wanted to say thank you to today's sponsor which is built bar you guys know built bar is my favorite and i love having them before the gym because i don't like to feel too full but i also don't like going on an empty stomach so that's why a built bar is perfect because it just hits the spot right this is one of the mix boxes that i am working through at the moment i don't know i kind of want to have the cherry barcia today because i haven't had this one in a really long time the other day i had double chocolate and i love that one because it's super decadent mint brownie is really good too i like the peanut butter i think i already ate that one though it's not in here i really like the peanut butter one that i know a lot of people love and i do too is the coconut almond it literally tastes like a candy bar. It's so good. I'm literally just looking at all the ones I have left in this box. There's a raspberry. I really like the fruity ones, but then I also love the chocolate ones. It kind of just depends on what I'm craving. Like this is cookies and cream, and I know this is like a fan favorite universally. Like a lot of people love this flavor. I think today I'm gonna go with the Cherry Barcia. The thing about Bilt Bars that is so great is they taste delicious, but they also are giving you a lot of protein. And I like the fact that it's a lot of protein in a little bar. This one, for instance, has 17 grams of protein. I don't know, for me personally, drinking a protein shake, it really fills me up and I'm like, whoa, I feel a little bit bloated after this. But having one of these bars, it just keeps me energized and feeling good as opposed to like feeling drained, if that makes sense. And every single built bar, if you've never seen them before, my camera's having a tough time focusing, but that's what they look like on the outside. They have like a little chocolatey coating. On limited edition flavors, they do like a white chocolate coating on the outside and it's so good. I haven't had this flavor in so long and this was my OG favorite flavor. It kind of, to me, tastes like a cherry Coke, which is my favorite drink. Something I always kind of warn people of with built bars, because you're probably not expecting it, is they're very chewy. It's kind of like a marshmallow candy bar hybrid. So if you guys are interested in trying out Bill Bar for yourselves, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Um, my discount is actually applied when you click on the link. It's not like a typical discount code, but if you click the link and you check out, my discount should be applied at checkout. So thank you Bill Bar for sponsoring today's video. Right now I'm gonna finish up a couple things on my computer and then I'm gonna head to the gym. And then after the gym, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'll film a haul for you guys to show you like everything that I'm getting for the meal prep because I feel like that's kind of helpful as well. Alright, so this meal prep is super minimal as for ingredients and a couple of these things aren't even for the meal prep but I'm just going to show you guys what I got tonight. Um, some spinach, some basil, a yellow onion, green bell pepper, some baby potatoes, two avocados. I already have one but I felt like 
just to be safe. I would get two more because I go through them like crazy. Um, some Kodiak waffles. I love the blueberry flavor. That's my favorite one. So I always have to pick up some of these because I go through them so quick. I already said yellow onion, I think. Dozen eggs. Um, some chicken breast. This was the most expensive thing that I got, so keep that in mind. I also needed some of this seasoning. I'm probably gonna butcher this. Garam masala. Garam masala. I don't know how you say that, but I needed that for one of the recipes that I'm gonna make tomorrow. I got some clementines, and pineapple has just been hitting different lately. Also, I know, like why did I get it like this? You may be wondering. These were two for seven, and then the whole bag of pine or of clementines was $5.99, so it just made more sense financially <laughs> to get the one that was already peeled. And then the last thing that I got is some almond milk. I don't normally get Califia Farms anymore because it's not as much product, but they didn't have the normal one that I get at the grocery store. So unsweetened vanilla almond milk for my protein shake. Tennessee is just so well behaved that I can't even bother to tell him to get off the counter. I know it's also very cringe, but like Look at him, he's just watching me film my haul. I feel so rude telling him to get off the counter, like he doesn't understand. <laughs> but yeah, this is my grocery haul. Tomorrow at the grocery store, literally all I need to get is some naan and then we're good to go. These are gonna be relatively easy meals that are gonna taste really good, so I can't wait. Hi guys, it is the next day, good morning. It's actually getting closer to afternoon. I stopped and got some Starbucks, I got an iced Fenty Dirty Chai with almond milk, if you're wondering what I've been ordering recently. I also stopped by the grocery store and got the naan, got some cherry tomatoes, and that was it. So yeah, I had a little bit of a busy morning on my laptop, but we're finally getting to meal prepping, which is good because I'm getting really hungry. And thinking about these delicious meal preps is really just adding some fuel to the fire. We have two meal preps that we're gonna do in this video. One's a breakfast and one is a butter chicken, which is gonna be just so good. I think we're gonna start off with the breakfast one and just kind of get that one out of the way. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients that we're gonna need for this, so that way you can see everything all laid out. All right, here's a quick overview of everything you'll need for the first meal of the day. Lots of colors going on here for the first meal. I'm gonna go through the seasonings that I'm gonna season the potatoes and I like to season my eggs the same way. So we have some black pepper, crushed red pepper, sea salt, this is paprika, and then one of my favorite seasoning blends, which says a lot because you guys know I season with a ton of different things all the time, but this Tony's no salt seasoning blend is everything to me and a lot of people were telling me apparently i think it was in the south it's like so popular and it's only in like one of my grocery stores but it's really good so i'm gonna use that as well i'm almost out i did have some turkey bacon in my fridge that i want to use up but turkey bacon is nice because honestly it tastes really good it's pretty low calorie and it's a lot cheaper at the grocery store at mine it's only four dollars which i love because regular bacon is like nine um, we have some cherry tomatoes, totally optional, all of the add-ons that I'm gonna put in the egg bites. Also some triple cheese, baby potatoes. We're gonna need a bunch of eggs, and then we have red onion, bell pepper, I'm gonna add spinach, and lastly, we're gonna do a side of clementines. That's why I got those yesterday. So there's everything. I think I'm gonna start by boiling the potatoes, well, cutting the potatoes and boiling them, because you guys know, I have a very specific way that I like to make my breakfast potatoes, so I want to get a head start on that first, I think. I would say I used about half the bag of potatoes. I'm making four servings of each of these meal preps, just so you guys know. I'm gonna set them over here. So for the egg bites, I use a mini little muffin tin and it works perfectly. And since I'm making, like I said, four servings, there's gonna be three egg bites in each one, which will be perfect. I also do have the oven preheating to 350 for the egg bites. When I have more time, I always make my breakfast potatoes this way because they just taste so much better than putting them straight into the air fryer. I cut them all pretty much in half, and now this is water in a pot that isn't turned on. It's not like heated up or anything. It's just room temperature water. I am going to lightly Add all the potatoes in. Ignore my like comfy cooking outfits, but you're going to salt the water 
a little bit because that's gonna season or flavor the potatoes on the inside. And now we're going to turn this on to a pretty high heat. I kind of leave the lid like this at first until the water starts to boil. And then you can take the lid off after, but you wanna keep cooking the potatoes until they're fork tender, which will probably be, you know, depending on how you do it, probably like 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna let them sit and we're gonna work on the egg bites now. little life hack for you guys if you have a problem with a giant bag of spinach not being able to go through it in like two days before it goes bad add a paper towel into the bag i forget who told me this i think it was a viewer a long time ago and i've been doing it ever since and i swear the spinach lasts like 10 times as long it's crazy anybody else wish that they sold half bags of spinach because i just don't go through it in time so I just drained my potatoes they were in there for like I said about 12 minutes um, you want to do that time after the water starts to boil so after the water started boiling they were in there for about 12 minutes now what I like to do is take a spoon and I just kind of like what I say is just rough them up so make them a little bit less perfect you kind of just hit them a little bit this is gonna make sure that they are extra crispy and just absolutely delicious probably do this a little bit more than needed but I feel like this is the key to having really crispy delicious potatoes like I said if you're in a time crunch you can totally just put them straight into the air fryer but I personally just think that they taste so much better like this okay now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil onto them and after that we just have to season them and I pop them in the air fryer at, I think it's 420 for 10 minutes. Then I kind of move them around and do like another eight after that. And if you don't have an air fryer, you could totally just put them in the oven. But if you don't have an air fryer, I recommend investing in one because it will become your best friend. So I have all of my toppings here. This is spinach, green bell pepper, 
cherry tomatoes and red onion and then i also cut up the turkey bacon pretty small and put it in here honestly probably made too many toppings but i go overboard with everything so it's fine hopefully i can use all of them i'm also gonna add some triple cheddar cheese and then i did six eggs which i think should be a good amount and i seasoned it with the seasonings that i showed you guys before so here's the muffin tin i'm just gonna lightly spray it with some olive oil Do, trying not to get it absolutely everywhere yeah a little bit of olive oil in each one and now i'm going to start by adding toppings to each one or they're not really toppings what would you call it <laughs> um bonus items <laughs> i'm going to add spoonfuls to each one and then we'll pour eggs and put cheese on the very top This is totally not what I was expecting to happen, but I guess six eggs wasn't enough. I feel like I need a whole dozen eggs, <laughs> which is fine. I just wasn't expecting it to take that much liquid. So I'm gonna do what I just did with the eggs all over again and continue filling this before we add the cheese on the very top. But wow, was not expecting that. I made this one a little bit too full. I feel like you don't want them super full, but like this one just isn't enough. watching YouTube on my iPad while I assembled everything, but I ended up doing six because as these egg bites were cooking in the oven, you guys, they rised a little bit and I'm like, these things are big. Yeah, I just felt like there was no way I could fit three in each one and that's fine because I feel like three would have been too much anyways. I put a little bit of arugula on the bottom just for some added greens. Every day when I have this, I'll probably add like a fourth of an avocado and some sriracha or just regular hot sauce to it. I love arugula and I wanted to use it up, so I felt like that was a good way to do so, but look at how pretty. It has like a lot of nice colors going on. I've never done like a breakfast type of meal prep because normally what I do is I have like a coffee in the morning and then I'll have my first meal around like noon to one. I'm kind of just always craving breakfast foods. So I feel like this is perfect for me to have as my first meal of the day. And like I said, I was only gonna make four, but it ended up making six. So I guess I'll have breakfast for dinner sometimes as well. Breakfast is just like all my favorite types of foods. So I'm fine with that. I threw my hair up because the cooking got a little intense, but I'm gonna put all these away and then pretty soon we'll get started on the second meal, which I'm really excited for because I think it's gonna be so good. Okay, I took a little break to have some yogurt because I was getting really hungry, but we're on to meal number two, which is gonna be a butter chicken with some rice and some naan on the side that you can like dip into the sauce, which I think is gonna be really good. I'm trying to make it like a little bit 
healthier because normally you would use like a heavy cream but i did my research and it said online i can switch out the heavy cream for some yogurt so i'm going to be using this oikos pro um protein yogurt it has 25 grams of protein per serving and it's so good i never used to go through big things of yogurt like this before but this is everything to me i use it on everything it tastes like sour cream you could add it to pasta to taco dishes you could use it just to like have actual yogurt dip an apple in it it's delicious i'm gonna go through all the other ingredients there's really not that much that you need for this i have some naan i really wanted to get the small ones but i couldn't find the roasted garlic flavor in the small ones so i just got big ones and i'll cut those up you're gonna need some basil um a medium yellow onion we have some minced garlic, some chicken breast, some rice. I have jasmine rice because it was in my cabinet and I really need to use it up. But the preferred type of rice would definitely be basmati rice for this recipe. We have some ginger paste that I had in my fridge, some tomato paste. And then there's really not much more besides just the seasonings. So we have cumin, chili powder, the seasoning I bought yesterday, garam masala. <laughs> Sorry if I'm saying that so wrong. And then we have some sea salt. Lastly, some black pepper, and I'm gonna add crushed red pepper because y'all know I like it spicy. But yeah, that's really all you need for ingredients. It seems pretty straightforward. I'm gonna start by cutting up the onion and then also cutting the chicken breast into little cubes, and then we should be good to go. Oh, I'm also gonna do the rice right now as well, so we'll do that first. So the rice is cooking over here. It should be done pretty soon, which is good because I want it to cool down before I put it in the meal prep containers. And then over here, not the most beautiful sight in the world, but we have some onions that I let cook with a little bit of oil and butter first for about like five to six minutes. And then I added in the full can of tomato paste and we're actually gonna blend this up because I want it to be like a nice, smooth sauce so we're gonna put this in the blender in a few minutes and then also in the fridge i did marinate all of this chicken so this is two chicken breasts same seasonings that we'll put in the sauce just a little bit less of it on the chicken and then the full juice of one lemon and a little bit of yogurt and i'm just letting that marinate in the fridge while i work on the sauce so to the sauce in the blender i'm probably gonna add the rest of this greek yogurt that i have right here I'm also gonna add some garlic and a little bit of ginger and then all the spices. And it should blend into a nice, creamy, beautiful sauce.
So the sauce is looking like perfection. I'm gonna leave it in here for a little bit. Um, we're gonna cook the chicken in the same pan that we just made the sauce in, and then we'll pour the sauce over the chicken after it's done being cooked and has like a nice crispiness to it. Guys, I can't believe it, but I am officially done meal prepping. I'm done cooking. So here's the way this one turned out. Honestly, the sauce is a little bit thicker than I would prefer just because I did use Greek yogurt instead of like a heavy cream or a milk. But that's okay. I'm totally fine with it. Plus, I feel like when I reheat it in the microwave, it'll kind of like simmer down a little bit and become less thick. The idea with these is when you have them, you just take the naan, I put it on the rice side so that way it doesn't get soggy or anything, and you take that and put it, just pop it in your toaster, add a little bit of butter on it, pairs so well with the meal. Yeah, this is so good, and I just wanted to try something different than what I normally do. I feel like I definitely did that. I'm actually going to eat one of these right now before I head down to the gym because... I'm hungry, but I need to go to a workout soon, and that's why meal prepping is so clutch because now I don't have to worry about cooking for the next couple of days. But you guys, this concludes today's meal prep video. Please tag me in pictures if you make any of these or let me know like what you would tweak, what you would do differently if you like these type of flavors, or maybe let me know what you think I should meal prep next. Like what's a meal that you love that you haven't meal prepped before that you like never really thought of as a meal prep, but maybe I can like tweak it a little bit to make it healthier and fit into a meal prep container. I have so many other meal prep videos. I meal prepped a lot during the fall of last year. So there's a ton of other options if you wanna see more meal prep videos. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video, follow me on Instagram, follow me on my other YouTube channel that's more of like daily vlogs and stuff. I'm gonna put all these away. Luckily, I cleaned as I went, so I only have like three dishes left to do. They just don't fit in the dishwasher, so I need to run it and then do the rest of the dishes. I highly recommend when you're meal prepping to clean as you go or else it'll just be so overwhelming at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one very soon. Bye.